Did you all know that 3 million deaths worldwide every year is due to the harmful use of alcohol, which constitutes to 5.3 percentage of worldwide deaths? I'm Dr. Satish. I'm here to talk about alcoholism and its harmful effect on us. Alcoholism is when a person has no control over the alcohol consumption despite its harmful effect on the occupational life, personal life, social life. Even a person develops a lot of physical health concerns and still a person has no control over it. This is how we can define alcoholism. So the short term symptoms can be where a person can show nausea, um, vomiting, increased heartbeat or the person can show restlessness, agitation and the person can even show some sort of an irritability. When we talk about the long term symptoms which are mostly physical health issues, probably there can be insomnia where a person has difficulty in sleeping at night and without alcohol they cannot sleep anymore and there could be sexual dysfunction which is the major cause of alcoholism lately. People do have psychological sexual dysfunction and without alcohol people find it very difficult to manage them. And then there are other physical disorders like cardiovascular disorders, hypertension, low blood pressure which can also lead to um, high risk of diabetes. The first cause we can attribute it to the social causes. Probably the main reason is stress where everybody in the world today are going through stress. The major stress can come from the work life when a person says that they're working for a longer duration of time and when they have issues with the workplace. At the end of the day, they depend on alcohol. And nowadays it's a trend that work hard, party hard, where five days of a week the person has to work and the end of the week where a person goes to a party, binge drink as much as they want. And the second thing could be lifestyle. It's a trend. So it's a trend that where everybody are having a peer pressure that if they're in a group to look cool, they have to drink. So there's a peer pressure, which is an added risk of it. And other than the stress and other than the peer pressure, now talking about the risk factors biologically, if the father drinks for a longer period of time, genetically the son also has a predispositional genetic factor where the child has higher risk of drinking when the child grows up. So that is how biological and genetic factors can be spoken about. When we talk about the family marital disturbances, the family disturbances, which can also lead to it. And the last thing would be the personality. Some people who are predispositionally vulnerable to anxiety or being very depressed can have a higher risk of consuming alcohol. alcoholism is a medical condition and that requires treatment in fact um, there are various different modalities of treatment um, it depends on the um, severity if a person shows mild or moderate and severe depending on which the initial assessments are done to identify what kind of treatment so let's talk about the severity the severe intensity mostly pharmacotherapy where some sort of a psychiatric interventions are done medications are given and the second, which is mostly moderate to mild features, um, psychotherapies and counseling. So we first identify what are the vulnerabilities, like as I already mentioned in the previous video, talking about the social factors, biological factors, family factors, is it the work stress or is it the personality? We identify them and based on that, there are different psychotherapies available. The most common are cognitive behavioral therapy, or stress inoculation therapy, relaxation techniques, cognitive distractions, and many more. Prevention of alcoholism is definitely up to the stress management. As we previously discussed, stress is everywhere. It's in every part of our day. But stress can never be escaped. So ultimately, a person is depending on alcohol to overcome the stressful day or how to relax at the end of the day. So finding a coping mechanism, finding an alternative to alcohol. Alcohol is simply but a habit which can develop into a medical condition. 
So developing a coping technique where a person depends on social support, where a person depends on family. In fact, we call family as a resilience, where the person who is more accustomed being with the family mostly has a less risk factors of drinking alcohol. And those people who have better coping mechanisms, that is people who depend on playing music, listening to music, or people who have drawing, painting, who loves cooking, who enjoys going out to people, do have a lower risk of managing the alcohol. It is only when the person has no um, no activity to do outside of the work life, say, when you finish your work, come home, I'm so bored, I don't know what to do. These are the situations where people easily depend on alcohol and that's how addiction begins. So having a different activity to manage through the day can easily, the person can easily overcome the alcohol behavior.